Hello all. Welcome back to another open source session. So in this one we are going to have a look at how to use open source's package management tool called SIPA. So in order to do that we can open up our terminal and let me increase the font size by a little bit so that it will be easier for you to see. I think that is enough. Okay, so since Super is the package management tool, you need to have uh, super user privileges to use. So either you can use sudo command or you can use doas or you can also use root account in order to use the zipper package management tool. So without wasting much of your time let's begin. So if you want to list the num list the repos installed software repos installed inside the open source which you are running you can use sudo zipper dash repos and enter your super user password so it will display the current repos with the name the alias whether they are enabled or not whether they will be refreshed when you do an update or a refresh whether the GPG verification is enabled for those repositories so here you can see I have enabled this repository and it will do a GPG verification and it will also perform a refresh each and every time I try to update so there is another command which will do the same function but it's like a short form sudo zipper ls no lr lr for listing repos if you do that it will give you the same output In order to refresh your current repositories, you can use sudo zipper refresh or ref, or you can type refresh. Both does the same function. So it will check for updates and will tell you whether you have any updates. So if you want to modify a particular repo, you can use zipper um, modify repo or zipper mr before that if you want to force your repo to refresh again you can use sudo zipper ref dash f tag f and upd for update i'm sorry you just need to use sudo zipper ref tag f you don't need to use upd because i'm running tumbleweed it will repo it will refresh from the tumbleweed repos and it's telling me i don't have any updates available all my packages are up to date let me clear the screen by pressing ctrl and l if you want to modify a repo, you can do sudo sipa then mr space. You can enter the repo name or the repo number. So, if you want to disable, for example, 
area going to do so basically and uh, uh, for listing the repo so if you want to disable like repo D if you want to enable or disable some repo you can use this number or you can specify the repo name or the repo alias name for that you can do sudo super modify repo if you wanna disable you use the d flag so dash d for disable and you can specify the repo number that is for example if you want to disable this repo you can use one or you can use instead of the number you can use the repo name you get the idea so if you want to enable auto refresh for a particular repo you can do sudo super modify repo dash rk flag can use the rk flag and you can use similarly you can use the repo number and you can use the repo name if you want so rpm file stashing has been enabled for the repository you can see if you want to add a repo you can use let me clear the screen first if you want to add a repo you can use sudo zipper add repo or ar you can use ar short form or you can use add repo you can use the full form or you can use short ar and just uh, enter the repo link like https colon colon repo something if you want to remove a repository it's similar can like sudo zipper rr for remove repository then specify the repository link or the name to install an application with the zipper package management tool you can use either in or install so I'm going to use IN and let's install git. Press Y and hit enter. So it will automatically do the dependency and the package install for you. Similarly, like if you want to install a whole group of modules, you can use, for example, if you want to install the YAST groups, whole modules, you can use sudo zipper in space yast for YAST and, and asterisk. So if you do that, it will download okay so this is telling me my package management tool is running somewhere else so whether I want to ask to quit I am going to say yes so if you want to install like entire YAS group Just use this command we'll download and install all the modules for you I'm not going to do that if you want you can install and have a look then if you want to install like a group like um, if you want to install the KDE desktop or some other group like Ruby package, um, Ruby programming package or something. 
you can install patterns so similarly when we saw if we go to yast we have software management so if we go inside the software management of yast you can see the view type if you go to view type and click patterns you can see these are the patterns or the groups so if you want to install a specific pattern or a group for example if you want to install kd plasma 5 desktop base all you have to do is you have to specify a flag tag t and space you have to specify pattern space the name of the pattern so for example sudo sepa tag sorry in tag t pattern then specify the pattern so kde oh, i'm sorry i forgot the name of the pattern i have to check it again If you remember the pattern name like you can install it very easily from the command line you don't need to navigate over here because I don't know the name I came here okay for for the simplicity of this tutorial just we will try fonts or something I hope it works Mm. so it's telling the pattern fonts is already installed so it's case sensitive okay so if you want to install something just specify the pattern name and it will install the whole group this is similar to red hats yum group install or dnf group install So if you want to remove some package, it's very easy. Sudo sipa rm specify the package name. Like for example, we use the git. Following package will be removed. Press y. It's done. If you want to perform a source install, you can use sudo sipa si and Firefox. Hmm. Since it's already installed, it's telling me nothing. You can use source install if you want to install something from the source and then compile it. Silver is having like multiple scripts, so you can use sudo zipper dash dash non interactive. I'm sorry, I have like if you do that, it will not ask you. Or a yes or a no when you do something if you want to cancel a gpg check you can do dash dash no dash gpg dash checks if you don't want any of those hassles you can do so do sipa dash dash quiet so this will not give you like a verbose output or something when you perform an installation it will just 
do its job without giving you an output. If you want to perform a distribution update, you can use in tumbleweed sudo zipper dup. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you in the next one.